Hi YouTube, this is Bluegrass Baby 86, and I'm starting a new series for all the fans of PSAs slash PIFs. I was inspired to do this by user Peachy Peachy Panda. I saw her doing something like this and thought it was really cool. So my videos aren't going to be exactly like hers, but they're going to be kind of on the same order, sort of. Basically, this series is called PSA Review. And the first PSA that I'm going to be doing is actually, I'm going to be spotlighting a campaign of two ads. And basically, I'm going to be commenting on them and telling my thoughts. And the first PSA in the series, we have the famous Meth Cleaner Girl. PSA. Look at me, busy as a bee. Where'd I get all this energy? Oh, man, mm, man. I don't sleep and I don't eat, but I've got the cleanest house on the street. Oh, man, mm, man. Get these hairs all out of my face. Get these bugs all out of my place. One more hit, no time to waste, oh meth, oh meth. Now, if I recall correctly, this came out in the late 90s. I'm pretty sure I heard this PSA in 1998. Could have come out in 1997, but by the time it got to me, it was 1998. They did another ad, which I had never seen on TV, and it's hard to find, basically in the same style, and I would say probably the same campaign. And I don't really know the title of it, so I'll just call it the Heroine Song. Now this ad, I'll, first I'll tell you a little childhood anecdote about the first one. I never got to see the heroin one on TV. I never saw it till YouTube and it is very, very, very extremely hard to find. Basically, I was, I want to say I was like 12 years old when this came on. And at this time in my life, I had an absolute deathly fear of PSAs, pretty much anything other than like, you know, Woodsy Owl or something like that, although that was before my time, but, you know, anything other than something like that, if it was any kind of drinking and driving PSA or don't do drugs or domestic violence, I was going to be freaking out. And I think that what caused it, I've always been trying to figure out what caused my fear of PSAs, was... The fact that, well, I have no vision. I'm totally blind. Um, and so when I would hear a PSA, even if it wasn't really that graphic, it could be just like the mildest thing. But my mind would fill in the rest of the story because when you're blind or if you listen to a radio a lot like I do, you get audio. And that's pretty much what you hear. You can imagine how this PSA went over like a lead balloon for someone who only gets the audio. I think what I was doing when I was a kid, I would fill in a story of what was going on in the ad. And my version would always be a lot creepier than what was actually happening, I think. I think I could have probably given the UK a run for their money in producing really creepy PSAs, PIFs, because the stories that I would create in my mind when these PSAs would come on, and the things I would visualize were absolutely a lot creepier than anything they would actually legally be allowed to show on TV. 
so I heard this PSA when I was 12 years old, as I said. My parents were watching TV in the other room, and I could hear it playing. I've always been the one to like to analyze commercials. I never could just not pay attention to ads. It was always, oh, I've got to see what this ad is saying. And if it was one of those, this, which is where I usually had a fascination with PSAs, if it was one of those where I couldn't figure out what it was advertising, I would have to watch it and stick around to find out and then wind up with really disturbing pictures in my head. And obviously it seems to be usually the PSAs that you can't figure out what they're advertising at first. So I heard this PSA and I was hearing the lyrics and the music sounded all happy like just a normal typical 90s commercial but the lyrics were just really weird I couldn't understand that they were saying the word meth I didn't wasn't sure what they were saying I was just like what the heck is this because you just don't expect to hear the word meth being thrown around in a commercial and they're singing all happy cheerful sounding but I noticed that even the lyrics were creepy. The heroin one, you wouldn't really notice that because the lyric just absolutely sounds like a straight up heroin commercial. But the meth song, you could tell it was really creepy sounding. Creepy lyrics are talking about bugs crawling all over her and, you know, she's not eating and sleeping. And I was hearing this going, what the heck? Well, the second time I saw it, I got somebody to describe what it was and then promptly curled up in the fetal position. It was actually scared me so bad that I never forgot the ad until I always tried to describe it to people and nobody could remember it until 2006 when I started researching PSAs. And so that's my story of the experience with this ad. And that was, sorry for the rambling. And now for the review, this is one of my favorite ads. I think it's really it's really creative because it gets your attention. You just think, oh, it's just a, here's another commercial. And then they drop the bomb on you. It's kind of what I call fake out. But this isn't quite. I guess it sort of is. I absolutely love when you think they're advertising something else. And then, boom, they hit you with a bomb. That's actually a PSA. This PSA, well actually both of these PSAs, are really, really brilliant. Except for the fact, that I don't think they were very effective. And if I've read off the internet, I've never been able to find any official documents from the Partnership for a Drug-Free America about this. But I've read that it was actually pulled off the air. Because people weren't getting it. They actually thought they were advertising meth and heroin. If you listen to the lyrics even of that meth song, you would know something weird was going on. But I don't, as creative and as awesome and as scary as I think these commercials are, I don't really think that they're very effective in terms of getting their message across. And the reason is... Because most people just don't analyze commercials. Usually people are just walking. They decide to get a drink or get some food or whatever. And they've walked away from the TV. Either that or they kind of maybe go into La La Land when the commercials come on. So when they heard this, if they even took any notice of them at all. If they just heard the audio. They would either just not even notice it it would just be one more 90s typical jingle and they wouldn't even register or if they happen to hear the lyrics and they might think why are they advertising for meth and heroin on the why are they showing that on tv and they're especially the heroin because it's just like oh you got to do this it's the coolest high and blah 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 i mean you know there, that would just be a straight up advertisement for heroin but, of course, it's when you actually look at the screen that you're seeing something really creepy 
and they've got like really disturbing visuals. I'm not really sure what the heroin PSA is, what's happening. I never had anyone to really describe it to me, but the lyrics are definitely a, it's definitely totally opposite from what's happening on the screen, which according to TV Tropes is called Lyrical Dissonance. Which I think is, is really, really creative. Sadly, not very effective in terms of a PSA. So basically, in short, I would give, I would give these PSAs a 10 for awesomeness and creativity and just everything cool in an ad. But I would probably give it a 4 in terms of effectiveness. As far as scare factor, they would definitely, they would have definitely gotten a 10 when I heard them as a kid because they freaked me out so bad that I remembered it years later and tried to describe it to people. And I only saw it twice and remember it, it left a very, very, very memorable impression. And I hope you guys comment and please, since this is being my first review that I've done, if you could give me some suggestions on how to make it better, I would definitely appreciate that. Thanks and catch you later.